Hi, my name is Jeff Wilson. I live in Colchester. I'm in my 50s, I'm semi-retired, and at the moment I'm involved in renovation and repairs. I'm here to review the RPD 18C that Ryobi kindly sent me. It's three tools in one. It's a drill, it's a driver, and it's a hammer drill. It's very good at all three, and it means you only need one tool instead of every instead of three. So let's get down to some tests. So it has three settings on the top. Uh, you can set it for torque levels. You can set it for hammer drilling, and that's what we're going to demonstrate first. I'm going to set it for hammer. I'm going to set it for the highest speed, and I'm going to insert a six mil masonry drill bit. So you tighten up the chuck, lock it in place twist it back till it clicks and that's a positive lock on the drill bit and this will show you how easy it is to drill into a wall so you can put a fixing in a roll plug for, for fixing for a bolt or a screw and I'm going to go straight in as you can see straight into the brickwork no problem at all if that was a breeze block it would be easier if it was concrete it might take slightly longer but that depends on the drill bit you're using, um, some of them are better than others. So, unlock that, and I can put in. Let's let's go with some standard screws or big screws, and change the setting on here to torque. Um, there are 54 newton meters available on this drill, which is quite a lot. It's the equivalent of a big, a big nut and a big spanner to tighten it, which is far more than you'd likely need on most screws. Um, it gives you 22 settings up to the maximum 54 and that's set with a dial on the top. There are two speeds on the gearbox. Lower speed is for screw driving, high speed is for drilling. So I'm going to set it for lower speed which gives it up to 400 revs or 100, 400 spins a minute. Um, I can set that and it's now set for maximum torque. as you can see no problem at all straight into the pipe so I'm going to leave those in and I'm going to change the drill bit on the end take the universal bit out and I'm going to put in a nut driver this will show you the torque on the drill set that on the top for maximum torque which it already is slowest speed because we're still sort of screw driving even though they're huge screws again it's not pre-drilled so that they might wander around a little bit because I didn't want to make it look like I, I was fiddling the test so so that's a very large screw very large coach screw standard pipe work drill bit a, a, a spade bit 16 mil spade bit you drill through your joist you can put your pipe work through Drill into the equivalent of a, of a joist. On the top, um, I should have set that for drilling and higher speed. And that shows the capability of it. It just went straight through two inches of pitch pine, so like a flooring joist. So this is a force and a bit. Um, a force and a bit cuts flat bottomed holes and wide widths. So I've got a piece of oak flooring here that would replicate a, an oak cupboard door. Make sure it's set for drilling, which it is. Make sure it's set for highest speed, which it is. And as you can see, that's now drilled a nice flat bottomed hole in my piece of solid oak. Um, this isn't engineered flooring, it's, it's solid oak, just a sample. Up to now we've seen drilling, we've seen into masonry, we've seen screw driving. The last thing I'm going to show you is into steel. And then you go through the hole in the plasterboard and into the steel. And you drill straight through the steel. So you go from masonry, you go from screw driving, you go into steel, you can drill your wood, you can put your pipe work through. So if you're a homeowner, a combi drill makes a really good choice. Um, it's not too heavy, it's not too expensive, but it is a combination of tools and it's very useful. I'd recommend it and I'd, I'd recommend this RPD 18C to anybody. Hope you like my recommendation.